Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you who are veterans and what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do what we can, where we can, as often as we can. We get over 1,300 of these available for your listening pleasure. We continue to do what we can as often as we can. And when, obviously, there isn't new content, you can always go back and check the archive for stuff. If there's a topic you'd like to see, Covered, please subscribe, like, comment below, all that good stuff. Um, if you are in survival mode, obviously having some coaching can be helpful. Well, how do you know if you're in survival mode? Please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Get you information related to that. In any event, um, survival mode is one of those things we often go into usually after trauma. And so there are some signs of survival mode that we may not uh, necessarily know that's what it is. But if we know what that's what it is, we can kind of get to a, a better place. Um, so the first thing is we become more forgetful, both in short-term memory and long-term memory, and also the reinvention or retelling, re restoring, and remodifying of um, new events and, or, uh, and of old events. So retelling of new events, that means uh, kind of having this idea or this concept that Hey, how I'm seen, how I'm, how how the world relates to me, or how I relate to the world is something that I'm struggling with, and so I tell myself that things are a certain way when it's not really factually accurate. Many times, that's a coping mechanism that people use that isn't always healthy or helpful. But at the end of the day, there's a lot that goes on with that that ultimately can lead to challenges, can lead to struggles, can lead to lots of different factors here and knowing how to handle all of that is important also we forget details to events um, those details can be gone in a few seconds in some cases the next thing is the inability to focus is there so this may come across in memory loss and or um, promising to do things and then not following through literally forgetting that you needed to do something um, but also being in the middle of doing something, a task that you find important, a task that you find valuable, and then kind of checking out on the process of it, checking out on the way that things go forward, move forward from there, um, and beginning to look at a, from a deeper level. The next thing is level of tiredness. So this could mean mental exhaustion and physical exhaustion and emotional exhaustion. There are three different forms of exhaustion. Obviously, physical exhaustion, we all know that means we need a nap. Mental exhaustion, it means you're kind of looping through the same thoughts, through the same concepts, through the same ideas in a way that's probably pretty annoyingly toxic and frustrating. So that can ultimately lead to a lot of struggle because when you're constantly kind of looking at things from a more overwhelmed perspective um, getting to a positive resolution in life can be more difficult than you anticipate and therefore the struggle is real and the struggle is something that we often don't want to deal with that and then um, emotional exhaustion is just dealing with people's drama dealing with people's challenges and problems is something we no longer want to do because we're emotionally exhausted we just can't deal with another challenge, can't deal with another problem, can't deal with another person asking something of us, and that ultimately leads to um, social disconnection, which, uh, you know, people may wonder why we've done what we've done in terms of disconnecting, but also we they begin to become frustrated when they're not getting the level of support they expect to get from our general direction, and so that becomes problematic too for a number of reasons not limited to the fact that if they feel they're not getting the support that they intended to get people often will uh, feel a need or feel a desire to not revolt but almost kind of you know harken back to well I'm not going to help you if you're not going to help me so retaliatory uh, behavior becomes a major force or a major factor in how people relate to each other from that place um, and then Emotional exhaustion also leads to being indifferent or callous at times about how um, something is affecting another person where you usually would show empathy and compassion if you're constantly burnt out or if you're in survival mode. The ability you have to deal with other people's stuff is often very altered in a negative way and not something you're necessarily willing to deal with. 
And so that becomes problematic in and of itself. Hopefully this is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.